Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at something kind of unique and really, really well made. The Vivor stainless steel wood stove. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a wood tent type stove. Um, this one is extremely well made and very, very heavy. So let's just get that right out of the way to begin with. This is a heavy um, wood stove. I would not suggest you use this for backpacking, of course, but for car camping, for maybe a bug out location, a tent that you're going to set up for long term. Um, definitely. <laughs> this thing is a tank. Uh, construction on it is all stainless steel. It's 304 stainless steel. It'll never rust or corrode on you, so you got that going for you. It's really good for harsh environments, and today is a perfect day to test it out because it is freezing cold out there. We're supposed to get a huge storm later, possibly snow here in the desert, but mm, I don't know. The temperature is right around 49 right now, so unless it drops really low, we're probably not going to get snow, but it's definitely a good day to test it out. As far as putting this thing together, very, very simple. Um, to the side here, I have some panels and some stove uh, chimney stuff but uh, all of it will come inside here all of your stacks pipes and all that you'll notice this is lined with fire rope in here so it's all ready to go you do have a bit of a damper in the front here that you can slide back and forth let me get the control for that you can slide it back and forth i don't know oh yeah i screwed it in wrong okay well we'll fix that before we start <laughs> i made it too tight um, you can loosen this up a little bit. This this comes with it, and you can open this up or close it. I will loosen that up a little bit. I just threw it all together really quick for the video here. You'll notice you have arms on the side here that fold down. They can be used as carry handles. They can also be used for these trays, which is really convenient. Uh, and these also fit in there, so they will fit in the bottom as well. They sit right in there. Right on there. There we go. So you got both trays on there, so you have a place to put your stuff on the side. Um, you do have a little bit of a circular area up here that has a spot where you can uh, cook on. Uh, you can also remove this center piece, and I'll get you the tool here in a sec, um, to cook with open flame coming right out of it. The tool they give you is this little tool here. You're just gonna reach in there and pull it out. Now this other piece does come out as well, but of course, when you got a fire going, that might not be a good idea. So you do have an area, a way to get in there and clean it all up. It does come with a uh, chimney, the stack, and this piece here. This piece is very well fitted. It will slide right into the back. I'm going to turn the stove around so you can see what that looks like. All right, so we're turned around. This is the piece here. You'll notice there are openings on all there, so everything fits where it should be. This piece will slide right in there and lock into place, and that's not going anywhere. And then you'll build your chimney stack from this. I was concerned a little bit about it being um, unstable, but it's fit in there perfectly. It is really sealed up tightly. You won't get any smoke or leakage from that. We are, of course, gonna test it to make sure. And like I said, it's a cold day out there, so this is a good day to test it. Unfortunately, I don't have a hot tent. So, that's on the list. If anybody wants to send me one, hey. <laughs> I don't have a hot tent, so we're gonna just do this outside. I'm going to put the chimney stack on there, and we're going to get to testing it. Now, this is a 97.7, uh, 95.7, I'm sorry, inch in height chimney stack. So you can build this up as high or low as you want. It does not come with a spark arrester. That is something I'm going to have to pick up. Uh, but uh, to test it out today, we're not going to worry about that. Um, I have made some in the past out of cans with some mesh inside. May do that. All depends. It's a little bit smaller uh, stove pipe here. So my ones that I made won't fit on there. They'll be a little too big. But uh, you get about eight pieces of uh, chimney pipe. You get a fire hook, which is this guy right here. You can use that to go in there and straighten out the fire too. You get a chimney base right there, two shelf plates. You get the elbow. If you want to put this on an angle, let me show you that. So if I'm angling this out of my house, out a window, if I'm using this indoors or out of a van or RV or whatever, you can angle this out any way you want. You can put a chimney stack up there and angle it out any way you want to do it. So you do get that. We're probably not going to be using that today because I'm just going to build it straight up and show you what it's like. I like the fact that it is packable. Everything packs inside this in the front. And I am going to loosen up that, uh, that uh, thing there so we can use the flue back and forth. Uh, but uh, I do like the fact that we can... Uh, pack this all up the legs will come off of it you do have to put them on they are folding legs and they will fold out like so 
Uh, we'll set this up and I'll show you how it works in the real world outside there. But that's how it does. So what we're going to do is I am going to put this here and loosen up that damper door there so that works. And we're going to actually do our first burn with it and see how smoky it is or if there's any leakage anywhere and try it out. So I got to get it going really quick because it's freezing out there. So let's uh, get it outside and give it a shot. All right, I apologize if the wind noise uh, blocks out my camera a little bit with this better microphone. It shouldn't do that, but... Still, it's very, very windy out here, and as you can tell by the ambient lighting, it's pretty darn dark and gloomy. So this will be a very welcome fire right now, because it is kind of chilly out here. Uh, let me show you quickly. There we go. And I got some wood in there. I do have a, a little fire plug down here that I'm going to try and light up for us. Let me grab my stuff. Okay. And we're going to try and light that up. I'm just going to do it off camera, because it's easier there we go get that lit there we go Got inside there all right and it is windy out here today i'm gonna get this rolling and let you guys see what it looks like once it gets going i did loosen up the uh the damper door here on the door it was just a matter of loosening that up a little bit i put it in a little too tightly when i was uh setting it up so uh, it was a little bit tight but uh we seem to be doing okay here and we're going to try it out in a second here and uh, see uh, see what it looks like once it gets going really good. Seems to be working well so far. The wind isn't affecting it at all, so that's nice to see. So give me a few minutes here, and uh, we'll let this go. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's really going full bore. All right, got a good fire going on here now. This wood was a little bit dry, so it should burn very quickly. I'm going to close it up. Got the uh, damper doors open. I'm going to see if we're getting smoke out of the top here. Let me go to the top of the chimney for you. Go. Hope you could see that. There is smoke coming out of the top, and it is performing very well, keeping me nice and warm out here at least for the time being to start with. It's uh, it's doing a great job, really nice. You can feel the warmth coming off it, even in all this wind and cold. It's doing an awesome job, and the fire is really going in there well. So we're going to give it a few more minutes and give you some final information on it and my final thoughts on it. And I'll let you know where you can pick up one of these and the price because they are pretty darn economical too. I've seen a lot of tent stoves for a whole lot of money and this one seems to be uh, pretty fairly priced. So give me a few more minutes here to let this burn up and we'll get back to you. All right, so we're back. We're still going strong in here. Very smoky wood. I don't know why, but it seems to be working very, very well. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Let me close the damper up a little bit. Getting lots of smoke out of the top of the chimney. Let me tip you up again to see that. Hope you can see that. But uh, all in all, I'm impressed with this thing. And I'm definitely now, my next goal is to go out and get a hot tent so I can uh, pop one of these in here and do a, do a video with that. Because I really, really like this. This is really nice. And again, this wood is very smoky and it's very windy. So don't judge the stove by my smoky old dried up wood <laughs> but it's definitely working and doing its job i'm very very impressed with it and i really really like it so this thing runs um 18.1 by 15.2 uh, by 27.2 inches across across the top you have that nice griddle plate up top there you can cook on it it's really convenient it's 189.99 okay and you will get the link down below as well as a five percent off coupon that you can use it's v uh, what is it vv promo i believe anyway it'll be down down below where you can check that out and you can see all of the neat stuff that vivor has for sale and i'll tell you i'm i'm loving the warmth off it it's not an overbearing warmth it's just nice right now where you're not getting that obnoxious kind of blazing heat off it but i'm definitely liking it it's uh definitely going to be a, a good little tent stove for me i can feel that already um definitely not too bad and it isn't discoloring discoloring uh, discoloring it's not discoloring too bad and it's keeping the fire going in there really nice even with this wood which is pretty dried out um and pretty uh pretty smoky it's pretty uh dried up old wood so definitely doing its job and i'm very very pleased with it so don't forget link will be to this will be down below you can check it out um the code will be down there as well so you can check that out too don't forget to check out all our other links we have our amazon affiliate store this is not in there so you have to follow the link i gave you we have our amazon affiliate store down below and you can check that out even if there's nothing in there you like just click the link shop as you normally would we really appreciate that we have our thrive life freeze-dried food store and our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com prepare with iridium.com and we have a three-month kit down there 
that is now going for $200 off plus you're getting $200 more worth of survival gear, water filters, radios, all sorts of stuff along with your three months worth of food. So if you have nothing prepared and you're just getting started, it's definitely a good way to get started. Just check on the inside there. <laughs> and don't forget our freeze-dried wholesaler link. Now, remember, folks, we have that contest going this week. So definitely check out my last video on the week-long contest for $1,000 in free gift certificates for anything you want on the site, as well as their sale on the carne asada. It's a pre-sale, so definitely check that out. And I thank you guys for watching. As I said, the link for this will be down below. I'm going to open it up one last time because I love the heat coming out of there. Stay safe and stay prepared.